Wondering what it's really like to live in Highlands Ranch? Well, that's exactly where I am today. I'm in Highlands Ranch, and we are gonna tour the West Ridge area, the west side of Highlands Ranch, and I'm gonna show you what it's really like to live here and everything that this side of town has to offer. I'm Kathy Hansen, a local area realtor, and I'm also a suburban mom. Now today we're in the Burbs, and we're in Highlands Ranch, which sits on the south end of the Denver metro area. And Highlands Ranch is a metro district. It's not a city, it's not a town. So there's no mayor here, there's no city services here. But Highlands Ranch is located in Douglas County, so all of their services come from Douglas County and the Highlands Ranch Community Association. So think of it like one big HOA. And this is a master planned community, and it's probably the biggest master planned community in all of Colorado. Now, Highlands Ranch was created or started to be built in the 1980s. So as cities go or as areas go, it's a fairly new area as we have lots of cities um, around the Denver metro area that were established the early 1900s. So this is a lot newer of a community than a lot of the other places that we tour here on my channel. And now Highlands Ranch sits about 15 miles from downtown Denver. And what's really great about the location is that there are a few different ways you can get into downtown Denver without taking the same route each day, which makes it really great in case one of the routes has an accident or traffic or something like that. There are other ways to get into downtown Denver. Driving is what I'm talking about. We also have a really wonderful light rail system. So if you don't want to drive to downtown Denver, if you work there every day and don't want to make that commute, you can take the light rail into downtown Denver. Now the light rail doesn't come all the way south here to Highlands Ranch. It stops in Littleton. So from depending on where you're at in Highlands Ranch, it could be a couple miles to the light rail station. Or you can hop on the light rail station in Lone Tree, which is just to the east of Highlands Ranch. So you have a couple different options there as well. Now let's talk home prices here in Highlands Ranch. Well, Highlands Ranch has so many different types of homes, so there's something for everyone, from condos and townhomes, to brownstones, to new modern three-story homes, single family homes, luxury homes, we've got it all here in Highlands Ranch. And in 2022, the average single family home price was $823,000. Now, right now, in March of 2023, the highest price home in Highlands Ranch listed in the MLS is $4.5 million. And this property is located in back country, which we're gonna get to later in this video. I'm gonna show you around that area. Now, this property is almost 8,000 square feet, and that does include the basement square footage. It has five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, theater room, a golf simulator room, a wine cellar, five outdoor living spaces, and amazing mountain views from the rooftop balcony. Now this property sits on a half an acre and it has a four car garage. So if you know anyone looking for a $4.5 million home in Highlands Ranch, well, I'm your gal, give me a call. And the lowest price currently on the market right now is listed at $579,000. Now this property in Highlands Ranch is about almost 1,800 square feet. It's like 1,789 square feet. It's three bedrooms, two bath, with a two car garage. And those are just single family homes here in Highlands Ranch. That's the range of them right now in our current MLS. Now I do want you to know that I help people from all different price ranges across the metro area. I love those $4.5 million homes, but I love helping first time home buyers or people in all different price ranges. And the last topic that we're gonna talk about general Highlands Ranch area is the school district. Now Highlands Ranch is located in Douglas County, so therefore it's Douglas County School District. And Douglas County, well, you can check out the ratings on websites like niche.com or greatschools.org. You could see how each individual school is ranked along with the school district. Now the school district does participate in open enrollment. And what that means is you can choose which school your child attends and you can open enroll them at that school if it's not your home school. Now open enrollment obviously they have to have room at the school in order for other kids to attend through open enrollment and you do have to apply and it is a first come first serve. So those open enrollment applications usually start about the beginning of the year I believe might even be in December for the next school year. 
Now, Douglas County is not a part of, or please don't confuse it with choice vouchers. Douglas County does not participate in choice vouchers, and I don't think actually anywhere in Colorado does, but choice vouchers is where you take those public school funds and you're able to send your child to a private school or to a religious school using those public school funds. We don't participate in that here, but we do have open enrollment. Now today we are going to explore Highlands Ranch, specifically the Westridge side. Now Highlands Ranch is broken up into four different areas. So there's Westridge, Northridge, Southridge, and you guessed it, Eastridge. Today we're going to focus on the Westridge side of Highlands Ranch. And right now I'm standing in Central Park. So this area around me is what we refer to as Central Park here in the Westridge side. It's a newer part of Highlands Ranch. It was built, oh gosh, within the last five years. So currently I'm in Central Park, actually the park area. Off over here to my right, there's big grassy areas. Right in front of me, there's some fitness courts. Over to the left side, there's benches and barbecues and cornhole. So some fun things to do here at Central Park. What you do see right behind me here is UC Highlands Ranch. That's our newest hospital or the only hospital here in Highlands Ranch General Hospital, I should say. This one was built in 2019 is when it was complete. So it's a new hospital and it houses or it has about 100 beds. I think it's like 98, about 100 beds here in the hospital. Well, the hospital also has an emergency room. It is a level three trauma care center and it also has a cancer center. And I shouldn't say it's the only hospital here in Highlands Ranch because just across the street from here, right off that way, there's Children's Hospital. Now that's not the main campus for Children's Hospital. It is the satellite or the south campus for Children's Hospital. Main campus is located up in Aurora, but we do have a pretty big south campus here for Children's Hospital. So if you have children that need those services, it's nice to be in this part of town because you're very, very close. Literally, it's a hop, skip, and a jump away from where I'm standing right now. Now this area was built, this Central Park area was built to be very walkable. So right in front of me that you don't see are some newer apartment buildings. Just over here to my right, right on the other side of the park, there are some modern three-story homes. And I'm gonna drive through that and show you what that looks like as well. Now just to my left is the Central Park shopping area. Now it is anchored by a couple big restaurants. There is a chiropractic center in there. There's a Starbucks, there's a nail salon. I think there's even a dental office in there. There's not big shopping um, stores. There's not big stores in that shopping center, but there are lots of restaurants, things that you would use on an everyday basis. And you can walk to them from lots of the residential housing right around this area. Now I'm gonna go drive through one of the Westridge neighborhoods, which again is just to the west of where I'm standing right now, just to give you an idea of what do homes look like here, right around the Central Park, just across the street from Central Park in the Westridge neighborhood. So let's go take a look. since the last time. Currently I'm standing in town center. Now this town center, it's not like a downtown area, but it's probably the closest thing here in Highlands Ranch to a downtown area. So this center, it um, is like a, a U-shaped right around where I'm standing. So you could see there's lots of parking on either side of me. And then there's restaurants, um, shopping centers, bars, things like that, all here in the town center. Now the town center has shops or stores such as Office Max, it's got a Michaels, it has a Bed Bath & Beyond. You can see there is some commercial um, space here as well. So there are some offices above town center. There's numerous restaurants and there's hair salons, that kind of thing here in town center. Now in town center, they do have um, community activities that take place here. So there's a big Oktoberfest that happens here in town center and there are farmers markets in the spring summer months right here in town center. Now across from town center is another big shopping area that has your Target, your PetSmart, um, lots of those kind of shops are right here in the Westridge area. 
the only thing that Westridge doesn't have, or actually any of Highlands Ranch, would be a mall. Now, the big mall is just on the next city over in Lone Tree. It's not very far from here, about a 10 minute drive. So you do have all of your mall shops, just not right here in Highlands Ranch. And as I mentioned earlier, Highlands Ranch is divided into four different areas. So with those four areas come four different recreation centers. Now, because Highlands Ranch is a metro district or a community association, every resident here pays $165 a quarter to the Highlands Ranch Community Association. And part of those dues gets you access to the different rec centers. Now, as a resident of Highlands Ranch, you can go to any of the rec centers that you choose. And they're all very similar, but yet they all have different things at them. So the Westridge Rec Center, well, they have batting cages, they have outdoor tennis courts. Now, all rec centers though have pools and some have um, big slides and some have zero entry pools, some have lap pools. So they all have kind of a little bit of different thing. The one here in Westridge, well, it has a zero entry pool. It's an outdoor pool. So it's really great for those young kids, right? Because they can just kind of walk right into the water. It's got a big slide there as well for the older kids. But the Westridge Rec Center, well, they have an indoor lacrosse and soccer field. They have a state-of-the-art fitness center, which they all do, but state-of-the-art equipment. They have an indoor cycling studio. And then a lot of the rec centers also have daycare facilities in them as well. Now I'm gonna do kind of a 360 here in town center. It's not very sunny today, it snowed last night, but as you can see, there's not a lot of snow on the ground. So it just gives you a good idea what it feels like here in Colorado. So it is not sunny today, overcast, I guess you could call it, a little cloudy, and it's pretty cold out here. But here's town center. And we're gonna head right down that street there. We're gonna head right down that street there and because there's some really cool brownstones that I wanna show you as well. Now these are the brownstones that I mentioned earlier. And it's a big community of them. I'm on the main thoroughfare right here. These are just south of town center and they do have garages, they're on the backside. But we're also right here next to Civic Green Park. And I'm going to go there tomorrow. It is freezing out here today, and I'm hoping tomorrow is going to be a little bit sunnier. So I'm going to go there tomorrow, show you what Civic Green Park is all about, because it's really cool. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday, I had to stop shooting. It was freezing outside. It was windy, and there was so much cloud cover that you just weren't really getting to see a good look at Highlands Ranch. So right now, I'm standing in back country, and you'll see right here, these trails right behind me. Well, these aren't just here in backcountry. They have these walking, biking trails all throughout Highlands Ranch. There is miles upon miles upon miles of trails that you can walk and bike on anywhere in Highlands Ranch, pretty much. But today we're in backcountry, and if you can see, check out, I'm hard to see, check out the view that there is from up here. Now, backcountry is a luxurious gated community, and it's located on the south west side of Highlands Ranch. There are awesome amenities here and specifically at the Sundial House, which is just to my right. I'm going to show you some pictures of it. But the Sundial House where there's a huge outdoor pool there. They have Pike's Pub and Lounge. They have a community kitchen. They have spa treatment rooms and they have a full fitness center in there as well. It's really like a country club up here. And there are plenty of clubs and activities throughout this community all year round. And many homes up here in backcountry, well, they have amazing views. So I just wanted to show you some of the views up here in backcountry. And I'm just going to do a 360 just to give you a good idea. The Sundial House is right back there. There's some construction noise. They're doing some construction on it. Doesn't look very, very big from this side, but trust me, it is. Just check out the, these views up here. And you can see there's two different paths there, two different trails. And I'll just do a 360, kind of show you all around. lots of open space back that way. Here we get just a few parking spaces.
and back to the sundial house. Now I wanted to show you this. This is the southwest side of Highlands Ranch. We're right by the sundial house still. I'm gonna show you that coming up here. It's right there, that's the sundial house. But there are hikes, trails back here. You can do a three and a half mile hike back through this way. There's some mile and a half, some two and a half mile hikes. There's tons of this open space and these gorgeous views. Here on the south, southwest side of Highlands Ranch, you'll see some of those walking paths too. So I'm at my final destination. I am at Civic Green Park here on the west side of Highlands Ranch. And this is just an amazing space. There's tons of open green space all to the front of me. You can see that they have picnic shelters and um, picnic benches and things that you can rent out for parties if you want or just come for the day and have a picnic. There is a big child's playground over just to the front and left of me. And now what's really cool about this place is that there's this cute little stream that runs through it. Now there's no water in there right now um, because as you saw yesterday, it was really cold. So once spring gets into full gear and we get into summer, there will be water in there. And guess what? The kids love to play in that. They love to come dip their toes in there and just kind of run around and play in that. Now over here to the right of me is a splash pad and that's you know where all the water kind of comes up from the ground and the kids run and play through it all. So it's just a really fun small kind of neighborhood park here, Civic Green Park. Now right in front of me is the Douglas County Library. Now this is a branch of it so there is a public library right here in Westridge Highlands Ranch as well. Now just in case I didn't mention it earlier, um, I wanted to let you know where we sit in relation to the mountain towns. So Breckenridge, Vail, Keystone, we're about an hour and a half to two hours away from those mountain ski areas. Obviously, depending on traffic, it could take you longer if you're going up on a really great ski weekend on a Friday afternoon and coming home on Sunday. If you choose to go up Thursday, come home on Monday or alternate your times, then you might not hit as much traffic and it's about an hour and a half to two hours. Now, as you can see, the Westridge area of Highlands Ranch has a lot to offer. There are many amenities that draw people to this area, such as all of the shopping, the big name box stores down to smaller boutiques, the big chain restaurants down to mom and pop shops, um, coffee shops, everything that you can think of or need other than the big mall stores that I mentioned is just a hop, skip and a jump away, but everything else is right here in Westridge. So you don't really need to go very far. And then two of the biggest employers here in Highlands Ranch is the UC Health Hospital and Children's Hospital. Both of those, again, located right here in Westridge. So if you need any of those services or you're working at one of those healthcare facilities, well, living here in the West Ridge area of Highlands Ranch is pretty great. And obviously being here on the west side of town, you get some amazing mountain views. You have access to plenty of outdoor recreation and activities from the bike paths and the trails to mountain biking trails that's really big here in the Highlands Ranch area because of all of that open space that I showed you up there by backcountry. That's all across the south end of Highlands Ranch actually. And I think today you got a really good look at what the west side of Highlands Ranch offers. So you know if, if you have any questions, if you want me to go more in depth on some different areas of Highlands Ranch or if there's something that you saw that you want me to do some driving tours of, please don't hesitate to reach out. You know I am a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Colorado and I would love to help you make Highlands Ranch your next home. All of my contact information is below. You can reach me on pretty much any of the social media platforms. You can call, text, or email. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna ask is if you wanna be notified of when I post future videos, I do them every Tuesday, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then if you liked the content of this video, hit that like button. Let me know if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I will definitely answer those. And I would just love to serve you with your real estate needs here in the Highlands Ranch area. And I think that's all I got for you today. So I will see you on the next video.